if you start punishing something severely, severely, you will get less of it. You will disincentivize that something because it's being punished severely. Why do we have much weaker Italian crime families, mafia families in this country now? Because they decided to do this, well, I won't go into the details of it. They decided to make sure these guys get long prison sentences when they're discovered for their crimes. Boom, like that. They're ratting on each other, and we lost all the power. Not all of it, but so much of the power that came with the crime families. We saw a crime we didn't like. We decided to disincentivize said crime, crack down on the crime, less of the crime. The FBI is a criminal organization, a criminal organization that works exclusively on behalf of Democrats. This is not unique to the FBI. Most of the three-letter agencies are in this. The FBI has criminals working for them. Criminals who've used their position at the FBI to commit crimes against the American people. Now, you know, and I know, that no nation at any point in time in history could afford to have its federal police force full of criminals who commit crimes against the people. You, the nation won't last. We're, in a point, we're at a point in our society where our nation won't last. Okay, well, what does that mean? Here's what it means. It means people in the government they have to be arrested and tried and sent to prison. Elvis Chan with the FBI. I want you to watch this and I want you to understand there's no saving America until this person is arrested and sent to prison. I was very involved. Our field office, FBI San Francisco, was very involved in helping to protect the U.S. elections in 2020. And I think we can all agree, or I think many of us can agree that it was a very safe election, that there was no malign foreign influence. There was mostly not a voter fraud, despite what you hear on, on different outlets. We talked with all of these entities I mentioned regularly, at least on a monthly basis, and right before the election, probably on a weekly basis, right? If they were seeing anything unusual, if we were seeing anything unusual, sharing intelligence with technology companies, with social media companies, so that they could protect their own platforms, right? On October 15th, Elvis Chan had a call. Who was that call with? That call was with Facebook. This is October 15th of last year, right before the election. He had a phone call with Facebook, October 15th. What was the subject of that call? It was the Hunter Biden laptop story. You see the FBI, because they had wiretapped Rudy Giuliani, they found out the New York Post was going to run with a very damaging story for Joe Biden's election chances, showing Hunter Biden to be a world-class criminal in bed with his father business-wise. It very likely could have cost Joe Biden the election like that. And Elvis Chan used his position of power at the FBI to call Facebook and told them to censor it, that it was Russian disinformation, that it was inaccurate. You see, you see the gangbanger on the side of the road selling drugs and you want him thrown in prison forever. And you can do that, that's fine. I'm not all pro gangbanger, but I will tell you there is no United States of America in a hundred years until Elvis Chan sits in the, in the cell beside that gangbanger for a hundred years. Until these people start going to prison, nothing changes. Nothing can be saved. Remember what I said a month ago? I believe everything that comes out of the DOJ, FBI, everywhere, I believe all of it is a lie. I think I'm being lied to at all times. And if you would like to earn back my trust so I believe you ever again about anything, you will arrest that human being. You will put him through a public trial for violating the civil rights of Americans for violating, abusing his post at the Federal Bureau of Investigation. And as soon as the cell door closes on Elvis Chan, as, he'll be, as he begins his 30-year prison sentence in Fort Leavenworth, then you will start to earn back a little bit of my trust. You want to watch our special on George Washington? It's freaking awesome. But you can. All you have to do is become a FIRST TV supporter. That gives you access to all of our specials on demand, and it's cake. All you have to go to, to is thefirsttv.com slash support. Thefirsttv.com slash support. Become a supporter. Enjoy learning about George Washington.